Three of our sons went to Leif HaTorah, our eldest, Eitan, our number three child, Amir, and number five, Noah. They're, they're good children. And I believe we had something to do with it, but I think that a lot of it just was inside of each and every one of them. I think we, we, we stressed a lot the the Benadam Lachavera got them involved in, in Chesed. That was actually one of the things that attracted us to Leif HaTara. I believe without a doubt that our children get their work ethic from their father. Their father is someone who gets up every morning knowing what his responsibility is, and he does it with real joy. So they've all searched to find something that they love. We, we really, we couldn't be prouder of. Eitan's personality traits, let's see. Very strong-willed, tremendous sense of right and wrong. He's a real hard worker. Eitan came back after yeshiva and he went back to college, took a break from college. He came, he served in Sahel, he came home, he finished college, turned around, went right back to Israel. While he was doing that, he looked for something to do. He wanted his own business and... Almost by chance, fell into the restaurant business. He has a chicken wings restaurant. Welcome to Wings, let me show you around. Hi, my name is Ethan White. I'm the owner of Wings, Israel's first ever Wings Bar. Uh, we have here wings made in two different types of batters and 12 different sauces. The idea to open this restaurant came to me a couple of years ago when I was hosting people in my house for uh, Sunday night football with wings and beer. Everyone kept telling me how great the wings were and that I should consider opening up a restaurant. At the time, it didn't seem to make a lot of sense, but uh, eventually the opportunity arose and so we have this restaurant. The first business that he worked for, he worked for a, for a tech startup, and they just didn't make it. So he cast around for something to do, and during, during the interim, got connected with White City Shabbat, and it really became, became a love for him. White City Shabbat is an organization that really shows the beauty of Shabbat without any preconditions. So any minute now, uh, a bunch of our volunteers are gonna be showing up, and we're gonna set up this room for a meal that will take place tomorrow night, Shabbat dinner, for around 200 people. White City Shabbat, as a, as a name, was basically one or two people, kind of had a lot of other stuff on their plate. They were doing meals once every four or five months for 50 people, and realizing that there are so many more people out there you could be inviting. And so myself, along with two good friends, three of us got together, brainstormed, and decided to start hosting these meals on a regular basis. That including with every single Chag, from Pesach Seder to Rosh Hashanah meals, all of it. We, we take it on ourselves to make sure that when uh, Chag or Shabbat comes around, there is no Ole left behind. Through this organization, we also managed to set the Guinness World Record, uh, world's largest Shabbat dinner of 2,226 people, which we did here in the port of Tel Aviv. It really was a massive event that really could not have happened without the volunteers. Without them, none of this would be possible. Amir is very focused and very directed, and he is really just a, a lovely, warm, loving human being. And I think he's an extraordinary husband and father. I really do. I see he's very devoted to his wife and his children, very. He and Ita are wonderful together. You can really see the respect between the two of them. Well, wow. oh, he certainly doesn't complain. He's had a couple of, uh, let's say, difficult turns in life. Because he, he developed it tumor in his leg. The word cancer is a very difficult word for anybody to hear. It was very, very painful. And to watch our son suffer the way that he did, to see him come through it even stronger, I am amazed by it. Just amazed by it and grateful to HaKadosh Baruch Hu for him every day. He's taken up, he's taken up mountain biking. He participated in a team that ran in the Jerusalem Marathon. And that was after having really major bone reconstructions, which is just unbelievable.
We are in the beautiful Hare Yehuda outside of Beit Shemesh on a mountain bike trail. Something I gave up moving to Israel was the winters skiing and snowboarding, which aside from being a lot of fun, we all love the adrenaline rush and this mountain biking has definitely filled that void. I sit on the board of an organization called Gears. Basically, youth leadership training through the fine art of mountain biking. We take good kids and make them great, teaching life lessons and leadership lessons all through the lens of mountain biking. Since Amir finished at the yeshiva, he became such a part of the yeshiva community that he, he can't move away. He lanes for the yeshiva, he's always living within a block. Amir co-runs a video production studio. Works mostly for, you know, businesses, high-tech and non-profit. Loves what he does. Video Sparks is a full-scale production studio for all of your video and animation needs. Most of our clients are high-tech companies with the occasional non-profit Mixed in, my partner Morty Rapp over here is also a Leva Torah alumnus. Noam is truly naive. He always has a smile. You talk about people that they don't have a mean bone in their body, and that's Noam. I think he's a wonderful brother. I mean, he keeps in touch with all of his brothers. We were obviously a little taken aback when he originally went into a, a combat engineering and, and explosives ordnance unit. And then when he got into the sniper unit, Beth said to me, is this a good thing? I said, yeah, now he's going to be 700 yards away from the things that go boom. <laughs> Noam, like the rest of the boys, believes in giving back. He was a Chayal Boded and he received a lot of support. Noam helped with the planning and execution of the program at Lev HaTorah called Lev LeChayal. It helps those uh, young men who are going into the army, pre-army, to get them physically and psychologically prepared for the army. Okay guys, today we're doing a Bochan Baror. Um, in the army this is your physical fitness test. So today is just a simulation, but I want you guys to give it your all. I want to see right now what their maximum is so that we can build up to the point when they get into the army, they can pass everything with flying colors. Three kilometer run, they have to do it in less than, than 15 and a half minutes. They need to be able to do 86 sit-ups and 70 push-ups in order to get a full um, 100 on their physical test. I basically teach them from my own experience in the army, all the challenges that I went through uh, spiritually, physically, mentally and help them prepare for the army, not just in a way that they are ready physically, but in a way where they can grow spiritually and grow um, in their middle. The last 100 meters of this, of this run, I want to see you guys sprinting. Even if you can't breathe anymore, by the time you get to that finish line, either you pass out or you throw up. I think it's like we said before, that, that Judaism, yes, it's a religion, but it's, it's their life. It's something that's totally a part of them. They all have a, a deep belief in something greater than who they are. My bracha to all my children is first and foremost that uh, HaKadosh Baruch Hu grants you long life, good health, happiness, success in all that you do, and that you should always remember your siblings, your partners, your children, your parents, and Claudius Yisrael.